Hello and welcome back to Code in Peace. In this session you will learn about how you can install Visual Studio Code and then using Visual Studio Code how you can compile your type scripts and make it to run. So before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this. So the first step that you need to do is go into your favorite browser and then search for Visual Studio Code. Over here you will find the download link. Just click on it and it will take you to the page where you can have installation files for three different operating systems. As we are using Windows operating system, so I will just click on Windows operating system download link over here and it will then download the files for you. Alright, so the setup has been downloaded. Just click on the setup file so that you can run and install it onto your PC. Accept the agreement and then click on next and then provide the path where you want it to be installed. I will just go with the default path selected, click on next and then click on install. Alright, so the Visual Studio code has been installed. Alright, here we go. So this is how the Visual Studio code interface looks like and over here the important things that you need to know about is if you go to the view, you can open the terminals from over here. The next thing that you need to know is how you can locate to your folder that you are currently working in. So for that you need to go to the file and then you can click on open folder to go to that particular folder where all of your codes or project files are located. So what we will do is we will go to open folder and over here I will go to my C drive and create a new folder with the name type script and just select this folder over here. Now the next thing that you need to do is you need to just trust the authors because you are yourself the author over here so that there are no restrictions whenever you are running any code. Now just remember over here that this TS extension over here stands for TypeScript extension. Just hit enter and it will create the file for you. So we will create file and this is what our interface looks like. Now the best thing about Visual Studio Code is whatever you type in it will automatically give you the hints for whatever you want to type and makes your life easier as well. So I will just hit enter over here and you see it writes down the complete syntax for me. Now what we are trying to do is we are trying to run our first script with the help of Visual Studio Code. So I will just write down welcome to code in peace. So you can also see over here that one good thing about this Visual Studio Code is that it also tells you whatever errors that you are doing. So I typed the semicolon before ending the complete syntax and you can see over here that it gives an error which means that you need to type it after you complete your syntax completely. So now that is done. Now the next thing what you need to do is as I told you, you have to go to the view option over here and then go to the terminal. So this will open up the terminal for you. One thing to note over here is that if you haven't installed Node.js and TypeScript previously, this thing won't work for you. So if you have to install it first, just follow our previous video for which the link is given in the description below. Now the next thing is we have to transpile this .ts extension file into a JavaScript file because as we know that our browser support JavaScript extension and not the .ts extension. So for that case, we will tell this Visual Studio Code to transpile with the help of .tsc command. So this TSC command will transpile our code from TS extension to the JavaScript extension. So what file do we need to transpile? It is first script.ts. Now this is a very common error which most of you will face whenever you will try to run your TypeScript file for the first time with Visual Studio Code. So how do you solve this issue? So for that you need to go to the PowerShell right click on it and go with run as administrator over here you need to type down set execution policy minus execution policy remote sign now before you continue with setting this policy, let me tell you one thing about what we are going to do over here. So basically we are changing the execution policy 
and what this will do is it will let you execute the unsigned scripts like whatever the scripts you are writing only in local computer it basically allows you to run that thing on your PC now I will type down a and then continue now let's go back to the Visual Studio code and then try to compile it and here you go so you see it's successfully transpiled your TS code to the JS and this is how you do it now the next thing is we need to run and see what the output of this piece of code will be provided to us so for that to get my Visual Studio code run with the newly updated policies I will just close the Visual Studio code and then rerun it again all right so we are back onto our terminal now we will type node and then the javascript file name which is first script.js and here you go so you have the output over here welcome to code in peace so if you are still not able to run your scripts on visual studio code just write to us below in the comment section and we will reply back to you so that the issue can be resolved with this i hope you have got an understanding of how you can install the visual studio code and then followed by that how you can transpile your TypeScript files to JavaScript files so that you can run it successfully on your Visual Studio code. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel so that you can get more exciting videos like this.